It's a special feeling to still be playing and practicing as the Benilde St. Margaret's football team gets set for its state class 4A quarterfinal. Every single day of football at this point is a blessing and we're so happy to keep going because obviously this team hasn't made it this far in I think seven years so we're taking it one game one week at a time and just living the dream right now. Well just seeing them in the hallways, getting the text over the weekend and you know like I said come into the film and then now out here on the grass you know stretch and stuff like that you know, it's 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 a great time to be a red knight you know and the kids are excited and uh, there's nothing better than state playoffs their record may not be impressive the red knights come into state at five and six after rallying to beat our tribal holy angels in the section five final but they are very battle tested yeah, that early stretch, you know, two, three, and four versus Byron, Ricori, and TG kind of, you know, built us, show us, showed us how to be able to persevere through, you know, some adversity. Uh, we played, I mean, they're all top teams in the state, so. You know, half the brackets in the high school, you know, in the state high school for a, you know, playoffs, we played, you know. So, I mean, our schedule is the toughest in the state, and it really kind of brought these guys together because we were just realistic with them saying, hey, you know what? This is only going to make us better as long as we stick together and we'll be playing great football, you know, in November. And that's what that's what it did. The Red Knights face North Branch Thursday night. Uh, North Branch runs kind of a wing T, so they don't even have wide receivers. They just try to run the ball up the middle of the whole game. Uh, we're going to have a pretty serious stack the box pretty good, have a pretty good front coming up against them. So. And despite chilly November weather, the Red Knights will still sling it around in their spread offense. Last game, we, you know, we, we still stayed to our roots throwing the ball. We kind of established a running game now. Our running back has surpassed 1,000 yards, so it's kind of helpful, you know, being a passing offense. But, you know, we're not going to stray too far away from what we do. So. It's the first trip to state since the 2016 Red Knights won the program's first state title. They plan to make the most of the trip. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.